guys, welcome back. So the first thing we're doing is priming the skin. I'm using the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Primer and applying that all over my face. Then I'm trying out this new product from Benefit. It is their pore minimizing makeup. So you can use it underneath like your normal foundation, which is what I'm doing, or you can use it as a foundation on its own. It's just very light coverage and it just minimizes your pores and helps perfect the skin. So I applied a thin layer of that in my T-zone. And then I'm going in with foundation. I'm using the Dior Forever Foundation mixed with a couple of drops of the Astralis Liquid Strobe, I believe it's called liquid. Um, and I have the shade Gold. So I just mix them together and just apply that to my face. And then I'm going in with the Tardis Pro Glow Palette and contouring my face using the cream contour shade. And I'm just using an angled Kabuki from Sigma. I'll have the brushes either on the screen or listed down below. So I'm just applying it to my cheekbones, around my hairline and all of those usual areas. Then for the eyes, I'm starting out with my MAC Painterly Paint Port as per usual. And I'm just using my little Sigma Bake Precision Brush. Then I'm just setting the eyelids using the whitish shade from the Kathleen Lights and Morphe palette. So applying that all over the lid. And then we're going in with this mauve kind of pinky shade. And I'm using this on a Sigma E40 brush and just buffing this really deeply into the crease and just blowing it out kind of thing, like using it all over the crease and that kind of area. Then I'm going in with the shade next to it, which is like a rich burgundy shade, and I'm starting to build this up in the outer corner and the crease as well. So just building on my colors, Starting out with the lighter colour first just helps to blend everything a bit easier and makes everything look a little bit more seamless. So yeah, I'm just blending it in the outer corner and the crease as I said before. Then I'm going in with the matte black shade from the palette. And I'm just using this in the outer corner just to deepen things up. Pigmented matte black shade, so you do have to build it up, but it's good for looks like this where you don't want it to be too smoky. You just want to add a little bit more, so that's what I was going for. Then I'm using the shimmery taupe shade from the palette, and I'm applying this to my lid using just my finger. And then going back in with the blending brush just to make sure the edges are nice and blended. Then I'm going back into the black but with a little flat definer brush and I'm just pushing this all into the upper lash line to make sure it looks nice and sort of thickened. And yeah, this is an alternative to doing eyeliner as I've said before. And then I'm just tight lining using my Rimmel black coal pencil like I always use and giving my eyelashes a curl and putting a coat of mascara on. I'm using the Maybelline Colossal Go Volume, I think it's called. Um, I do really like this mascara, by the way. I have been using it for a little while and I am really liking it. And then the lashes I used are the Red Cherry 747L, so they're nice and long. So yeah, I just plonked those onto my eyes. Back onto the skin, I am concealing using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I'm in the shade, I believe, Light Ivory, um, but it will be listed down below. I'm just applying this all underneath my eyes, the center of my face and just sort of around my nose and my lips. And I'm just blending everything out using the pointed Kabuki from Sigma. And then to set the lighter concealed areas, I'm using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in Light Plus on this Morphe brush. And I'm just, press uh, I'm just pressing it into my skin. Sorry, I'm trying to talk too fast. Into all of the areas I want to keep highlighted. And then I'm using a powder that's more like my skin tone shade. And I'm just applying that to the rest of my face. Then I'm going in with this bronzer from Pure Cosmetics, I forget what it's called, but I'm using the Matte Strips 
first and contouring out my face, so all around my hairline, my cheekbones and you know, those kind of areas that I always contour. I absolutely adore this bronzer, it is amazing. It's got strips of shimmery bronzer and strips of matte bronzer, so you can either mix them all together or just use separate parts. So now I'm going into the shimmery part on an angled brush and I'm just sort of applying this more onto my cheeks and just giving my whole face more of a bronzy look. And then another Pure Cosmetics product is this strobe kit. So I'm using one of the shades which is like a champagne colour on my Real Techniques sculpting brush and just applying it to the tops of my cheekbones and down the centre of my face. Again, I absolutely love this product. I'm so impressed with these two new products that I've got from Pure Cosmetics. And then over the top of that highlight, I'm just using the Tarte Highlight Shade in Stunner, I think this one is, and it's just from the Pro Glow palette once again. Then for blush, I took this one from The Balm. It's called Down Boy, and it's a nice, cool toned pinky shade blush and I really like it. Then going back onto the eyes I'm taking that Movi shade that we used first of all and just starting to buff this underneath the lower lash line. And then I'm going in with the burgundy shade once again and just doing the exact same thing just deepening up the lower lash line and then taking the black and again doing the same thing although I keep the darker shades closer to the outer corner. And then I did add a little bit more black just into that outer corner on the upper lid and through the crease just to give the look a little bit more depth. Then to highlight my inner corners and brow bone, I took the shimmery light highlight shade. This is the most gorgeous highlight shade ever and I just love it. And then just to line my lower waterline, I'm using this Marc Jacobs gel liner in the shade Mist Me, which I have been loving. I've been using this so, so, so much lately. And then just adding some lower lash mascara to finish off the eyes. And then finally for lips, I'm lining them using a Rimmel lip liner. I believe this is in the shade Natural. So I'm just outlining my entire lips and then I'm going to fill them in with the Rimmel Nude Lipstick range. I think that this one is called Movement. And yeah, that completes the entire look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video.